The rivalries between athletes add zest to any sporting event. They introduce personal drama in the events and provide the competitors with additional motivation to win, all the while entertaining the fans. Let's check out one of the most interesting rivalries in the world of professional bodybuilding between Dorian Yates and Arnold Schwarzenegger. What went down between Yates and Schwarzenegger? There are many rivalries in the modern days that we can mention, but the past also has something to offer. Although friendly rivalries can spice up the competitions a bit, the events will always gain more hype when bad blood gets involved. One of these past rivalries of the bodybuilding world is somewhat curious. You might have not known, but former bodybuilding champions Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dorian Yates seem to have had their fallout in the past. The interesting thing about it is that they competed in two different eras. So what was the bad blood between them? Schwarzenegger's observations on Yates' skills The world will listen to what Dorian Yates has to say. After all, he has been a key player in the sport. You may have heard this saying, there are players who play the game and then there are those who change the game. The latter is often said about those who come and destroy the competition by changing how spectators look at the sport itself. That is exactly what this bodybuilder from England did when he introduced and inspired a new era of bodybuilding in the 90s. Dorian Yates, also known as The Shadow. He made his Olympia debut in 1991 and placed second to the long-standing legend Lee Haney that year before going on to become a legend himself. The next year, he shocked the world by growing a monstrous size with vascularity, leanness, and being shredded to the bone. He came out on top with a first-place win at the Olympia the following year in 1992. He literally single-handedly turned the sport of bodybuilding upside down on its head. This English monster then dominated the sport until 1997, winning six Mr. Olympia titles and seven Grand Prix titles to himself. He never placed second in a show after his runner-up finishes in 1991, Mr. Olympia. He was nicknamed the Shadow for two reasons. One was that after every win, he would literally disappear to work in the trenches and come out the next year and beat all his competitors again. Another reason was that he would always be the biggest man in the room. Yates, in his prime, was known for his hard work and more uniquely for his training style. He never used to follow the training protocols that the other seasoned bodybuilders used to follow. He was an advocate of the HIT or High Intensity Training Protocol, where he would often just do one set with maximal intensity taken very close to failure. His training is still popularly known as falling in the category of blood and guts training. It is also believed that Dorian Yates was the first bodybuilder to make the usage of growth hormone mainstream in the world of bodybuilding and had been constantly criticized by Arnold Schwarzenegger for starting an era of mass monsters where they traded aesthetics for size. Who is better, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Dorian Yates? Both Schwarzenegger and Yates have a permanent place in bodybuilding history. They were so alike and so different at the same time. Arnold brought so much popularity and general recognition to bodybuilding as a respected sport. During his era, people learned a lot about the sport. The Pumping Iron movie became a classic and portrayed athletes in a new aspect. Until then, bodybuilders thought they were narcissists and nobody took them too seriously. Arnold changed all that and not only him but a bunch of other professionals such as Lou Ferrigno, Frank Zane, Franco Columbu, Serge Nubre, and Dave Draper. Arnold's personality, charm, and incredible physique were the reasons that not only bodybuilding but the fitness revolution reached such societal prominence in the 1980s. Arnold was a one-in-a-million personality as his later achievements in business, movies, and politics demonstrate. Everybody has heard about Arnold and watched at least one of his movies, not to mention his influence over every little boy in the neighborhood. Here, Arnold is a clear winner. Dorian, on the other hand, showed the world what it took to become a champion and to keep winning even with devastating injuries such as torn biceps. No other Mr. Olympia has shown such strong will and determination. One thing that puts them together, though, was their exceptional back development. For his time, Arnold had the best developed back in bodybuilding, which was a guarantee for the Mr. O title. Even later on, one thing that would give a great advantage to the competitors was the back such as Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman. Dorian as well developed one of the freakiest backs in bodybuilding history, but he displayed another dimension thickness. Dorian was a much more introspective individual, but his quiet, well-reasoned approach to bodybuilding and his rugged physique took bodybuilding to even higher levels of muscle mass. Many true fans of bodybuilding appreciate Dorian's simple, intense approach to bodybuilding as a whole. Dorian was as strong as he looked. Dorian wasn't the constant center of attention like Arnold, but in his own way, Dorian left as much of an impact on bodybuilding as any bodybuilding champion not named Arnold, and that includes Lee Haney. In this department, Dorian wins. It's difficult to compare and judge who was better or who would win. After all, neither would do well in the other's era. It was a different era, and the aesthetics that would win were different. 
Between Arnold and Yates, we saw the end of the classic physique's dominance. Yates' scathing comments on Schwarzenegger. When thinking about bodybuilding rivalries, most people imagine two active competitors training hard, giving their all in the effort to come out on top of their worthy opponent. However, this rivalry is different in the sense that these two never really competed against each other. In fact, they both represent completely different eras of bodybuilding. In an interview, the interviewer asked Dorian Yates about his thoughts on Arnold Schwarzenegger and its comments were not as pleasant as one would expect. Yates explained that in the mid-90s, the time when Yates was a forerunner in rushing into a new era of bodybuilding with a change in what was the desired style and aesthetic, Schwarzenegger attacked Bonnard bodybuilding as he was criticizing the sport. He further criticized Yates and his role in bringing that change to the sport. Yates is obviously still offended by this statement, especially because Schwarzenegger did not know Yates personally, so he wonders why did Arnold have to make such a blunt comment on his skills, work, and achievement. Arnold Schwarzenegger's Comments on Modern Bodybuilding Even in earlier years, Arnold Schwarzenegger has been clear about his opinion on modern bodybuilding. Arnold said some elite bodybuilders have taken the sport too far and are so obsessed with their size that it is killing them. Lifting weights is positive for the vast majority of people, but some competitors take it to the extreme and are only interested in size, size, size. He went further to say that they have taken it, in my opinion, too far. It has gotten too competitive, and even, they're going to take more and more stuff that they're not supposed to, and sometimes it kills people. A string of untimely passings in the bodybuilding community in recent years led Schwarzenegger to describe the sport as the most dangerous in the world last year. He further said, quote, The more extreme it gets and the more competitive the top athletes get, the more they are lifting weights that the body was not meant for. Arnold does know what he is talking about after all, there is research to support his opinion. The use of performance-enhancing drugs and steroids is common in elite bodybuilding, but these can lead to various long-term health risks such as testicular atrophy, infertility, and heart attacks. Schwarzenegger said, Sometimes they are taking drugs that are damaging for their health and are making them so strong that the tendons and bones were not meant for that weight, so then it gets into a really dangerous situation. Schwarzenegger says bodybuilding is no more dangerous than lots of other sports when it comes to the extreme elite level. Schwarzenegger believes bodybuilding is generally positive, provided it's not taken to extremes. When performed safely, lifting weights has many positive effects including building muscle, burning body fat, strengthening bones and joints, reducing injury risk, and improving heart health. Schwarzenegger believes bodybuilding has been one of the hugest benefits of human development and physical development in the last 50 years. The past and the future react to Arnold's harsh comments on modern bodybuilding. In 2015, Arnold made some blunt and harsh comments about modern-day physiques that became controversial. We all know it by now, he thinks modern physiques are rubbish compared to the days of the golden era and modern bodybuilders aren't receptive to these comments. Yet his words hold a lot of weight even now because Arnold Schwarzenegger remains the greatest and most influential bodybuilder of all time in the eyes of many. Arnold helped to change public attitudes toward a sport regarded as deviant and on the margins of what was acceptable social practice at the time, and that's a contribution that helped solidify bodybuilding as a sport. That's all for this video, folks. Stay tuned for the next upload.